Uh, so Mistranslations is about, uh, it tracks a year of my life as I try to reconnect with my estranged Bengali parents. Uh, they had a very toxic arranged marriage and even though we grew up in the same house, we never spoke. We barely knew anything about each other. And so this was my opportunity to uh, reconnect with them. Yes, often. Um, it's, 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 uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that is, uh, is inevitable in any conversation. Uh, I don't get that very often. No, um, no, I don't get that very often. Oh, that's a great question. How do I characterize Bengali culture? Well, well, it's not man monolithic, but I think Bengalis are typically typically known as uh, being the most kind of creative, more creative types. You know, there are a lot of poets like um, Rabindranath Tagore, of course, won a Nobel Prize. Um, but you know, out of Kolkata, where you know my my dad is, you know, there are a lot of poets and literature, and they're you know, it's 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 very it's like we're a creative bunch, I would say. Uh, yeah, and just ask uh, my father, who will uh, go on uh, uh, for hours about this. No, uh, what they, it was more their answers challenged me and my thinking. So it was, you know, you know, there are things about their upbringing and 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 their marriage and our home life that I realized eventually that I also contributed to. And that's what challenged me more than anything. That's what changed my thinking, more so than anything that they asked me. You know, they didn't, they, they didn't really have much to ask me, which was, um, which, which was, it's not unsurprising when it comes to Indian parents. They're like, no, no, you're here to talk to me. You know what I mean?